having me here today as the Park District. Good afternoon. My name is Vaughn Bryant. I'm the Chief Program Officer for the Chicago Park District. Chicago is a football town that talks, debates, and thinks about football all year long. From our story, 90 plus year history with the Chicago Bears, to local high school rivalries, on through to the Chicago Park District's Junior Bear football program. We love, we love football and football is a great game. That's why the Chicago Park District is pleased to announce that the, the, only the second time in its history, the University of Illinois Fighting Illini will play at Soldier Field, hosting the University of Washington Huskies on Saturday, September 14th. This historic matchup caps another summer of great events at, the, at Soldier Field, including a music festival, concerts, International Gold Cup soccer finals. On game day, the entire museum park will feel like an alumni, uh, an Illini, Illini campus home game. With Soldier Field featuring Illini signage and pregame parties and activities. So come cheer the Uni University of Illinois Fighting, Fighting Illini as they host the University of Washington Huskies at uh, historic Soldier Field for a matchup sep Saturday, September 14th. Um, it's, it's especially uh, you know, fitting for me to, to introduce you guys today as I grew up a Big Ten guy and I played Pac-12 football myself, so this is a, a good matchup for me to watch. And with that, I'm going to uh, introduce uh, the athletic director at University of Illinois, Mike Thomas. Thank you, Vaughn. We know who you'll be cheering for, right, Vaughn, <laughs> on September 14th. Well, thank you for being here today, and I want to thank uh, – the Park District, uh, the Chicago Bears, the city of Chicago, just the opportunity to be part of something so special, Fighting Illini, the University of Illinois playing here on September 14th, hosting the University of Washington. And for us, it, uh, it's important in a lot of ways. I mean, certainly our uh, fan base up here, our alumni base, which is significant. It's the uh, largest of any of the Big Ten schools, the largest of any of the surrounding uh, schools. The fact that on a football Saturday that you program so much in to a football game that is uh, really of importance to those that follow our program and our alumni base up here because, as Vaughn had said, a lot of activities will happen that surround the game, uh, and all of those will be things that we hope will engage our fan base, get them excited about not only our football program but spending time with one another uh, in this great venue, in this great city. For us also, I think it aligns pretty well with the history that we have with the Chicago Bears, whether it's George Hallis, Red Grange, or Dick Butkus, I can go on and on, the fact that we both wear the blue and orange. But I think that it's um, really uh, something that we hope that we can continue to do in this city, continue to, uh, uh, continue to um, gr spread our brand, strengthen our brand. I think that's very, very important in what really is the heart of Big Ten country. So we're excited about it. We're excited about it on many levels. And uh, certainly, I believe it uh, was 90, the early 90s, the last time that the University of Illinois played at Soldier Field. And you know we do this at United Center every year, so hopefully we'll get a steady diet of, of playing football in the Windy City. So I'd like to introduce our head football coach, Tim Beckman, who I know is excited as well to talk about this great game. Thank you. I just uh, would like to start off by saying uh, the excitement that is uh, being generated down in Champaign to have an opportunity to come up here and, and play in Chicago. I want to thank the Bears. I want to thank the Park District. I want to thank this great city. About having an opportunity for our student athletes, uh, something that college football enables you to do is come and play in a great venue like Soldier Field. Little story I'd like to share with each and everybody here. When we uh, bring in a, a, a recruit on an official visit, we show them a, uh, a video, a DVD video of Red Grange. And of course, the backing of Red Grange and the importance that Red Grange meant to not just the University of Illinois, but also uh, the Chicago Bears. It's so interesting to see those young men, uh, the young men as they come out and, and are involved in our weekends, they get to see them and their parents the importance that Red Grange, the University of Illinois, and the Chicago Bears had in the success of college and professional football. And the uniqueness that we can share with this great city that their school, or our, our state, our school, is not just two and a half hours away, but we are here. And we are excited about this opportunity to play in Soldier Field. So I can say, as a coaching staff, 
as a football team, as a community, and as an Illini, I can't tell you the excitement of playing here on September 14th and being involved with the Chicago area and being involved with the Chicago Park District and the Chicago Bears. Our players are very, very excited about having this opportunity, and we will look forward to it on September 14th. Matter of fact, we'll be at Gately Stadium tonight at 5.30 practicing, uh, bringing the team up here in four buses when we practicing for two hours uh, there at Gately Stadium. And uh, again, we look forward to, uh, to bringing our state and our team to Chicago here. Thank you very much. Well, you know, again, I, uh, the, one of the biggest cities in the country is, is again, two hours away from us. And, uh, you know, as a, uh, our philosophy as a football staff is that uh, Chicago isn't just a uh, city. We call it a state. And the reason we call it a state is because we have every one of our coaches recruiting in the, in the city of, of Chicago. So all nine of our coaches recruit this fine city here. The football is outstanding. And one of the things that I continue to stress to the, to, the, uh, to the high school coaches and to the prospects in this area is, is we are your team. This is your state and we are your team. And we would love that opportunity for you to showcase yourself and your talents uh, not but two and a half hours away. So again, I can't uh, say enough of the importance that, uh, that Chicago has in, uh, in the recruiting and, and uh, the, what, what these student athletes here in, in Chicago can do for the University of Illinois. Is there gonna be plans to schedule more local teams from the area for future days at Soldier Field? Uh, you know, again, that's uh, things that we talk about as, as an athletic director. This was Mike Thomas's idea. And Mike Thomas came to me and, and asked my opinion on it. And of course, I was totally behind it. So it's, it's things that we continue to talk about and we uh, progress for, towards the future. Right now, we've got this game scheduled and we're excited uh, to have other opportunities to possibly come up here and uh, play at Soldier Field. Never coached here? I've never coached here. I've had the opportunity to coach in, in, in a couple NFL uh, venues as a college football coach, head coach, and an assistant. So uh, they're very, very exciting times for uh, for a college student athlete. Obviously, this will be a, an opportunity to bring recruits in and, and, and see your team up close. Is this also something that you can sell down the road to future recruits? Hey, this, we're doing this this year, but we, you know, we could be doing this. Come play at Illinois, and you're going to play in one of the premier venues years down the road as well. No question. Yeah. There's no question about that. You, everybody knows the percentages of, of having the opportunity to, to play on Sunday in the NFL. It's, uh, very, very small, but to be able to say that you're a college student athlete and you had the opportunity to play in an NFL stadium is, is something that uh, not everybody gets to do, and they're not doing it at every Big Ten uh, university. So uh, there's no question that uh, it's a great opportunity for, for any individual to be able to step out on Soldier Field and, and play. Just we'll be, in, we'll be in the orange and blue to say Illini. Is this something that you anticipate um, making a regular uh, occurrence here, year in and year out, playing in Soldier Field? Yeah, I mean, certainly that is our intent to continue to play uh, football games up here. It wouldn't be on an annual basis. It might be on an every every other year basis. Uh, certainly we play Northwestern up here on an every other year basis, so my sense is it would be on the opposite years. Um, as you know right now, within the Big Ten Conference, when you're looking at the number of games that we play, and division, how they're going to align the abilities and all those type of things. And really, that'll go into effect in 2014 when Rutgers and Maryland join the Big Ten Conference. But really, uh, beyond that, uh, you know, how we schedule and how it's going to look different. So hopefully, uh, that won't impact those these types of opportunities. But I do think it's important for us to not minimize the kind of things that are important for us to be doing in central Illinois, but to really uh, capitalize on the opportunities up in the great city of Chicago. And sticking with uh, Northwestern and their claim of, you know, we are Chicago's Big Ten team. This is, I don't want to ask, is this in defiance of that or is this in, in, in some way a challenge to that? Do you consider Illinois to be Chicago's Big Ten team? Well, I think uh, from a geographic standpoint, uh, you know, we're not based in the city of Chicago, but it is within the state boundaries of, uh, in Illinois, uh, hence uh, 
uh, Illinois, our state, our team. I believe that uh, we're the flagship institution for this state. Uh, but we, we've done a number of things up here prior to my arrival at the University of Illinois. Uh, we've, as I said, we've played the men's and women's basketball games up here. We do a lot of programming up here, especially with our large alumni base. Uh, for me, this is about taking care of our own and growing our own. Uh, we have a large alumni base up here. Some of those individuals are engaged with what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Some of them aren't. So for me and for the University of Illinois, if we feel like we are not only engaging those people who are already alumnus of our school, who are already fans of our school, and move them along and get them to a better point, and get those people who might be in a gray area to jump on the Illinois bandwagon, then we've done what we've needed to do. It's not about flipping those individuals who are already other Big Ten fans of other Big Ten schools or maybe have gone to school there. That's not what it's about. It's about working on those people who are already part of our Illini family, moving them along, or those people who might be on the edges. You guys still have seven home games in Champaign. Would there ever be a situation where you have a cutoff number that you wouldn't sacrifice to play a game up here in Chicago to lose a game at Memorial Stadium? Well, I think if you look at most Big Ten schools, traditionally, they play six or seven home games. There are situations where there are Big Ten schools every now and then have played eight home games. Matter of fact, we did uh, the season four last, our uh, 2011 season, so that's not unusual. But I think for us moving forward, the goal would really try to hit seven home games, uh, certainly no less than six. Uh, we've got to, like I said, take into account the uh, the new scheduling parameters when we go to uh, 14 or playing, for example, nine uh, uh, conference games because when you do that, you're going to have an imbalanced schedule. Now you're playing four at home one year and five on the road and it's going to flip the following year. So we've got to take all that into account. But really, you know, for us right now as we sit here, we'd never go below six or seven home games. Uh, it would be unusual probably in the future that we'd be playing uh, an eighth home game in Champaign.